What's going on you guys? It's uh, Nick Johnson, your favorite sports YouTube journalist here. Back here with another video on uh, today's update in the world of sports. Now I'm going to give you a very quick rundown of yesterday's MLB postseason scores uh, before we jump into today's action. So really quickly here, and for those of you who didn't catch yesterday's video about yesterday's postseason scores, I'm going to break down for you right now. And also going to break down the later games because uh, they didn't play until like I was at work. So... A quick rundown here. Uh, the Miami Marlins got shut out by the Atlanta Braves 2 to nothing, leading the series 2 to nothing to uh, hopefully begin the sweep today. Uh, the Oakland Athletics managed to stay alive against the Houston Astros by winning 9 to 7 to force a force a game 4. Uh, the Tampa Bay Rays got the best of the New York Yankees in an offensive scoring affair 8 to 4, therefore pushing the Yankees to the brink of elimination. And the Los Angeles Dodgers managed to escape one against the San Diego Padres 6-5, despite Kenley Jansen nearly blowing a three-one a three-run lead, blowing nearly blowing a save opportunity before Dave Roberts managed to um, go with Joe Kelly to uh, finish out the game. So and now the Padres on the brink of elimination, and the Dodgers are hoping to get back to the NLCS. Now, that was yesterday's scores. Now I'm gonna jump into today's scores. Uh, the Atlanta Braves once again shut out the Miami Marlins 7 to nothing, therefore completing a three-game sweep of the Marlins and will advance to the National League Championship Series for the first time since 2001, a good 19 years ago. So they've been in the playoffs for the majority of this decade, but just haven't been able to get back get to the uh, League Championship Series. So... <laughs> This was a team last year that was a favorite to at least play in the NLCS last year, but um, got thumped in five games at the hands of the St. Louis Cardinals. They rebounded very nicely in a much efficient way. And to top that off, this is their second straight shutout against the Marlins, and therefore to complete the sweep. And they have now opened up the postseason with four different shutouts in five postseason games. Which I believe now is, should be like an MLB record, if I'm correct. I have to look more into that. But this is a really, really good accomplishment for the Braves. And a really historic landmark for you to begin the postseason. In your first five games to have four different shutouts, it's amazing. So congrats to Atlanta. They're going to go back to the NLCS for the first time in 19 years. So, And they will face out of the winner of tonight's game between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the, and the San Diego Padres. The Padres are looking to stave off elimination as uh, they look for the sweep. As uh, Dustin May for the Dodgers is going to get the nod over um, this guy named Morjon of the Padres. As as I already mentioned yesterday in yesterday's video that uh, Mike Clevenger of the uh, Padres will be out for the rest of this post for the rest of this series due to a lingering elbow issue. So. If the Padres manage to stay alive and force a decisive game five, that'll be um, really interesting. But it's kind of a long shot. And then you also have tonight's game between the uh, Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. And the Yankees hopefully to force a decisive game five. As uh, they're going to send Jordan Montgomery to the mound against uh, Jake Thompson of the, of the Rays. So Rays looking to uh, dethrone the Yankees and advance to the ALCS for the first time since 2008. When uh, they won that year's American League pennant and lost in the World Series to the Philadelphia Phillies in five games. And the Houston Astros is currently leading the Oakland Athletics 7-4 in the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, Astros looking to close the series out and advance to the ALCS for the fourth year in a row. It'll be interesting to see where this goes. So it's been complete nonstop action of MLB postseason baseball as we all know it. So it's been great action all the way around. Um, of course, you all know tomorrow night is uh, Game 5 of the NBA Finals between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Miami Heat, as the Heat are hopefully trying to f stay alive, facing elimination for the first time all postseason long, and never trail to this point, but now hoping for all systems go, even without the services of Goran Dragic, we'll hope to force a Game 6 on uh, Sunday night. And a game seven potentially on Tuesday. But the Lakers are looking to close it out. And the Lakers are once again are gonna go with the uh the black mamba jerseys. Excuse me, the black mamba jerseys. Once again to pay homage to the late great Kobe Bryant. To uh close the series out in five games. And so far the Lakers are are four and oh when this postseason when wearing the black mamba jerseys. So 
that's a really great uh, record for someone who honored for an organization to honor arguably one of the greatest players in NBA history who is no longer with us, unfortunately. So if they win it all, if the Lakers win, that'll be their NBA tying record 17th title in franchise history, needing to join that mark with their historic NBA Finals rival Boston Celtics with for the most in NBA history. So, But the Heat is a Brazilian team. They're steadfast. They're hungry. They're like top-notch of a basketball team, and they're going to pull off all the stops to make sure they get this win. So, But I hope the Lakers close it out because I'm a Laker fan, and it will be really touching to see them win for Kobe. So, yeah. Anyways, in the NFL, uh, the New England Patriots, after having their reigning defensive player of the year, Stephon Gilmore, tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, have had no positive tests as of today. So, But it's still kind of uncertainty of their week four five matchup against the uh, Denver Broncos up in the air to see if they can keep it up because otherwise it might be rescheduled because I don't know if they haven't even had practice and chance to have practice time as a result so yeah and speaking of positive COVID tests another set of Tennessee Titans players have tested positive for COVID-19 as of today therefore putting their week five matchup against the Buffalo Bills in jeopardy so that's over 20 people in the Tennessee Titans organization that have tested positive for COVID-19. And all of this was stemming from the Titans players, from certain Titans players, holding a secretly private workouts uh, some weeks ago. Yeah, some weeks ago, they were holding personal private workouts at some university at a campus in their state. And to me, that's that's a stupid method for you to go out and do. You ha- Therefore, with these little private workouts they've done, they violated COVID-19 protocols. That is a stupid move for you to do. You're already beginning the NFL season. You're in the middle of a pandemic that's basically costed the lives of many Americans here in, in this country alone and around the world. And yet you want to do some stupid shit just as that when you know the risks of what's going to happen. That's stupid. Like, come on, dude. Like, you already know exactly what this uh, damn virus is capable of. You already seen exactly what we have to do to keep ourselves alive and make sure nobody else is affected around us. I'm just like, look, man. You got to be better than that. Seriously, you really got to be better than that because you're basically fighting for your lives to hopefully um, get into the postseason. You've had a hot start. You already missed last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's been rescheduled for a later date. Now you're going to miss two games in a row because of this bullshit that y'all attempted, basically did, for like some weeks ago. I understand you guys wanted to get into shape and whatnot, but there's other ways to do it. Game plans and everything. It's dumb and it's stupid. And now it costs you guys as a result. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. But anyways, of course, in the NFL, you have tonight's Thursday night football action between the Chicago Bears and the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Tom Brady getting a Super Bowl rematch with his uh, former rival, Nick Foles. As we all know, Nick Foles, who was playing for the Philadelphia Eagles, got the best of Tom Brady and the New England Patriots in uh, Super Bowl 52 just uh, two years ago. Rather, three years ago. Three seasons ago. And um, there's going to be another highly anticipated rematch between the two here. Considering the fact this has been their first meeting since that uh, faithful Super Bowl game in which Philadelphia won. um, To give uh, their city of Philly their first championship in franchise history. Their first Super Bowl title in franchise history. So, and I've basically played my hand in DraftKings on the selected players on that game. So... Hopefully I win some money, but then again, it's DraftKings. You don't never know what's going to happen. So, yeah, with the result, that's Thursday night's game. And, um, yeah, that's basically all I have for uh, today's uh, video update. And, uh, like I said, Titans players once again tested positive for COVID. Uh, NBA Finals, Game 5 tomorrow. MLB postseason action running rampant. And it may, in the divisional round series, may be over sooner than we expected. So, with that being said... 
that's all I have for today's update. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell com button where you get my daily notification updates and my videos in the upcoming future. Let me know what you think in the comment section about what's going on in the world of sports. Who do you think is a dark horse contender? Who, do you think the Lakers can close it out tomorrow night? And um, what do you think on this uh, whole COVID situation in the NFL? Because it's now spiraling out of control as we speak, especially for one organization, which how they did it was some stupid reason that's just really unjustifiable. It really isn't. So anyways, once again, hit, like and, hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that bell com button where you get my daily updates. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And uh, once again, this is Nick Johnson, your favorite sports YouTube reviewer. And I'm out. Peace.